Hey everybody, that Hoodoo Lady here. So I'm going to share with you more experiences that I have about being black in America and being black in other countries. I had the opportunity to go to the Mediterranean um, in October. And if you don't know me, please subscribe, like, comment, any of those things, share my videos, that kind of thing, and continue to share other black videos and content because our audiences don't get bigger until you share our audiences. And that's for those of us that are black and those of us that are not. So just let me know. This is the month to do that. Okay. So when I was in the Mediterranean this October for 18 days, um, I noticed that as I was, and this is my experience, so I'm sure feel free to share your experiences below, but this is my experience. When I was there, I loved being in Europe because I didn't really get identified or known as being black. I was known and identified as American. And it's very odd to me that in the United States of America, when I'm walking around, I rarely am identified as American. And let me show you how. So when you think of U.S. history, how many African-American black history or stories do you hear about? I'll wait. Martin Luther King. Harriet Tubman. Others, do you hear about all of the famous and wonderful scientists, chemists, inventors, authors, companies, leaders, any of that? Maybe you hear about Barack Obama. Not in the South, though, probably. They probably want to pretend that he never existed. Or if you believe Nikki Haley, he started racism. Ridiculous. Anyway... When I was in the Mediterranean, I went and got gelato. I shopped in beautiful stores. I talked to people in restaurants from Turkey to Greece to Italy to London. And I rarely was identified as a black woman. Everyone said, where are you from? You sound like you're from America. Then the next statement they would say is, are you okay? Y'all. I had a great conversation with a um, supplier, a retail chain person who was telling me that they were so worried that they stopped teaching black history in America because in Greece, you can't graduate primary or secondary school without learning about all of the black history because they believe it's their history. What? You don't have a Black History Month? No, why would we have a Black History Month? We know about all of the black famous celebrities, authors, scientists, environmental scientists, workers, people in the world that helped to establish our history because there's so much. And I was like, wow, I wish that we did that in the United States, but it's not too late. As long as we continue to share our stories, our black stories, your stories, my stories, then we'll continue to go against the grain of people that are trying to ban our stories, ban our books, ban our history, ban our very existence. It's not really American, is it? Hmm. Have a great day, everyone, and thank you for listening to Black History Month and my observations of my black life. If you are from a lineage of Africa, like I believe all of us are, then you will continue to celebrate black history 365 days a year. Bye. See you next time.